Hello people, welcome to my channel, welcome to another video. This is a video that I wanted to do for you guys because of the news that I heard earlier on today regarding Frank Lampard and if you guys haven't heard already, he has been sacked and just before I give you guys my thoughts on it, I'm just going to say that I didn't actually plan this video so I have no notes to read. Um, so you guys are going to get my raw unedited thoughts on this one but yes, yeah, it's just time to get into it. Um, I'm not going to lie to you guys, I'm distraught, I'm a bit angry, quite frustrated and a bit upset at this because I don't feel as though Frank Lampard did deserve to get the sack. Yes, our recent run of form has been poor, some of the recent performances have been shocking as well, um, but at the same time, it was always going to take time for these players to gel, it was always going to take time for Frank Lampard to actually implement what he wants to do. Um, in terms of systems and tactics and X, Y, Z. Um, so on that note, I don't necessarily believe that it was fair for him to get sacked. But if everything I heard about um, the dressing room is true, then you can definitely blame him for that. And you should be blaming him for that because I've heard some bad things about um, the dressing room. And um, um, sorry, sorry for the um, fillers. Um, <laughs> I just, I'm just... I'm just riddled with disbelief right now. But yes, I saw um, Hakim Ziyech's body language when he went off the pitch against Luton Town yesterday afternoon and it didn't look good. And it did seem as though he was one of the players who was affected by Frank Lampard. Um, it's, just, it's just a shame because, of course, Frank Lampard is a club legend. He did all sorts for the club as a player. And yes, I'm well aware of the fact that um, serving a club as a player and serving a club as a manager are two completely different things. Um, but at the same time, the board knew that he wasn't experienced when they appointed him. So you have to hold the board accountable for that one. And it's just a bit... It's Honestly, guys, it's just... It's just happened again. And it's getting silly now, this whole hiring and sacking... Sorry, this whole hiring and sacking thing. It's just getting incredibly silly. And it's... This whole thing just proves that um, loyalty uh, loyalty in football does not exist anymore. I mean, we're, we're the kings of hiring and sacking. I don't know any other club in world football that does, um, that does this. Um, it's just, yes, you can argue that it's been successful, but it's not, it's not desirable for us fans because it's, it, it just isn't pleasant. It's as simple as that. But in terms of... Um, the recent performances, you have to blame the players as well. Yes, Frank Lampard was the one who set the team up um, in those in those games where we performed poorly. And you can definitely blame him for some of the things that went wrong in the games we um, played poorly in. And I'm definitely one of the ones who will do so. But honestly, guys, I just don't think that was fair to sack him because not only um, was it going to take time for these players to gel, it was... Um, it was um, unfair in my opinion because there was always a chance of him turning it around. And I know that the club said in their statement that it, he wasn't showing any signs of turning our poor poor performances or poor run of form of recent around. But you never know. You can't always you can't always predict those things based off of um, a recent game or something. However, um, I can understand why they did just. I can understand why they did sack him for that reason, guys. I'm sorry for stuffing. I just, I'm just a bit. Um, I, I just don't know. It's just a funny one, and um, I'm hearing that we're bringing in Thomas Tuchel very soon. Um, I'm not necessarily his biggest fan because of the things I've heard about him. However, I am willing to give him the chance because, of course, I'm probably going to have to anyway. Um, however, I fear that if things go wrong, then he'll just get the chop. Because of course, um, this whole hiring and sacking sorry, I keep stuttering, this whole hiring and sacking thing has been going on for a very long. Um, and I wouldn't be very, I wouldn't be surprised at all if it happened again. Um, I can't even uh, uh, I think I just I think I've just told you guys how I feel in the way I side there. But yes, um, Frank Lampard has been sacked after eighteen months in charge and I guess the only thing I can really say is that he went out on a win. Um, the players now, they're going to have to step up um, to prove a point to the fans because, um, like I said, I heard some bad things about what went on in the dressing room. And if that's the case, then they're going to have to, they're going to have a, 
they're going to have a point to prove to the fans. And if they don't, then um, a lot of them will probably need to be shipped out or something. I just, I just don't know right now. Uh, uh, this club is killing me. And <sighs> yeah, this club's killing me right now. Um, I didn't want it to happen, but I'm not surprised at the fact that it did. And that's the only way I can summarise. But um, yeah, Thomas Tuchel looks as though he's going to be the next Chelsea manager. I've been hearing that he's likely to sign an 18-month contract. If that's the case, then hopefully he does well. And hopefully Frank Lampard doesn't um, doesn't go out of management. Hopefully he um, get, gains more experience and comes back a stronger man because it would be very nice to see him back. Yes, I know many Chelsea fans out there don't want to see him back, but... Um, I certainly do because we are running out of um, established managers. But yes, that's my take on it. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please do like, comment and subscribe to my channel if you're new. Also, please do put your thoughts on Frank Lampard sacking in the comment section below. And as always, I will do my very best to respond. Um, that is it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Come on, you blues. And peace. Oh, dear.